Hello and welcome to ONM Profile ESP. When you first log into the software, you'll be greeted by a home screen that looks something like this. And what I'm going to do in this introductory video is just give you a brief grounding on how the navigation and mechanics of the software work, and just a few of the ideas about how the system works. So first things first, you'll notice I've got the help window open and I've got my home menu open. Within the help, we've got how to's and we've got glossary. We've got obviously other things you can see down here, live chat if you need to talk to our support team for help, other methods of getting in touch, um, and, a, and a few other options there, including the ability for you to send feedback through to us. Um, the help menu can be opened at any time by clicking on this help icon up here. It will also automatically open whenever you log in. Um, if you don't want that, uh, obviously once you're more familiar with the software, you won't need the help all the time. So you can just untick that box there and then next time you log in, it won't open automatically. Okay, so underneath the home menu, you can see all of the various actions that you can do from this part of the screen. So if you're looking to invest new money, start withdrawing money from a pension plan, decumulation, or looking to switch or transfer from an existing plan or even retirement modeling, fund research, all the different things that you can do, they're all under here and hopefully fairly obvious which button you need to do. If you're ever not sure though, we've got a little help here and how to's. So if you're asking the question, how, how do I do this? Have a look under here. If I want to know how to run a TVC quote, for example, simply click on that. It'll tell me in the text at the top here. And it'll also very helpfully flash and highlight the button that I need to click. So just a little thing. If you're looking at this and think, how on earth do I do that? Don't forget the little help icon here will, will guide you. Throughout the system, what we've done is we focused on getting you the results as quickly as possible. So whenever you get to a a quote, if there's enough information to complete that quote, you'll see the results set straight away. Um, if there isn't, we'll hopefully bring all of the inputs to you so you can fill in the data required in order to get results. Um, what I'm going to do in this session is I'm not going to run through a quote as such. Um, I'm just going to show you a few of the mechanics. Later sessions, we'll go into detail on each of these quote types and show you some real life examples. But I'm going to start with just a switching quote and show you what I mean. So you'll see we've got a few extra buttons along the bottom here now. I'll come back to those in a second, but let's just quickly fill in some client data. And you'll see as we go, the red boxes around here are where we need to fill information in. And you'll notice up in the top here, we've got an exclamation mark that tells us there's something we still need to do. I've now filled in all the red boxes, the exclamation mark's gone, and I've got no other exclamation marks on any of these sections. What I do have though, is an exclamation mark here on current plans. As you'd expect with the switch, we need to know what they've currently got so we can switch out of it. So we can work our way through each of the input sections by following these buttons at the bottom. So let's have a look at current plans. System again being helpful knows that I must have at least one plan so it's automatically opened the plan editor for me. Under here you can see the different types of plans that you can pick to switch out of. Uh, I'm going to do a simple pension switch, but I could do an ISA, DB transfer, all sorts of other things. Pick the provider. Again, you'll see the same mechanics. We've got the exclamation marks here. We automatically fill in the current plan name, but you can overtype that. We'll fill in some basic information, transfer value, and just work our way through each of these sections. Again, I'm flying through these now. On a dedicated switching session, we'll go through more methodically the inputs that you need to enter. So no more problems. We can click OK, or if we've got another plan, if we're doing a consolidated report, we can simply add another plan in. OK, so I can continue along this journey. New investments is the next thing that I might want to change. Um, I've set some defaults up in my system, which again, we can cover later on. So I don't need to fill in new investments. You'll notice I've got a green tick next to my OK button. So I can come out and click on that at this point. If I want to continue through methodically filling in each section, that's great. You can do that or you can come out and get to results. OK, and you'll be greeted by a results screen that looks something like this. One of the great things you can do in the software is have the layout exactly as you want it. Well, again, we'll cover that in a later session. But here's just a very quick glimpse at some of the different layouts you can create. And it's really up to you how you want to work and how you want it to look. So loads of different ways you can customize the look and feel of the system to get it exactly as you want it. As I say, we'll cover the mechanics of how you achieve that and how we can help you achieve that in a future session. For now, I'm going to revert back to our default view and show you some of the other things we talked about. So two last things I'm going to show you in this session. 
Firstly, we mentioned at the start we had our home button and we can click on that to get the menu up. We can do that in any of the other sections as well. So let's click on our switching quote and see what options we've got. So if we want to make changes to this quote, it's really easy. If we want to make a change to the current plan, the new investments, obviously I skipped through that on the way through. We can now go in and say, let's have a closer look at new investments. Click on that. It'll take us to the new investment section. You can see we can navigate from here. We can come back to our quote. We can follow it up. We can go into a different section. We can filter the products, add advisor charging, and all of these things you can do, they're all available under that switching quote button. What you can also do from here is print the switching report. We appreciate printing reports is something you're going to do a lot. So we've also added an extra shortcut in for you. If I close that menu down, you'll notice up the top here in our toolbar, we have a reports button it can take us straight to that. There are other things you can add into your toolbar. As we go through the training sessions, we'll touch on those as well and show you how you can add and remove things to your own toolbar. For now though, I'm going to close that down. I'm going to return home. You can either do that from under the switching menu or simply by clicking on the home button. It tidies up after itself, gets rid of the other buttons that were there, and we're back to the start where we can see all of our options. Last thing to show you in this introductory session is simply the shortcut back into that last piece of work you were doing. So when we want to create a new quote, we click on the big switch or transfer button. When we want to go back to something we've done before, we can either use the existing quotes and search for it, or if it's something we've done recently, we can click on these three little dots, give us a full list of what we've done. There's our switching quote. Let's go back into it. As I mentioned, because we can generate results, we're going to take you straight to the, that results screen. But don't forget, if you want to make any changes at all, click on the button and you can go straight back into where you want to make the change. We've obviously only scratched the surface in this first session. There are follow-up videos available for you, and we're adding to those all the time that go through the specific sections of the system, so please look out for those. If you've got any questions at all about using the system now, please give us a call. Our support team, our customer care team, are here to help you on 01206 222 191. Thanks for watching.